Dwayne Radley is our new forward. Uh, Dominic Marvin, our forward, scored last weekend. And also the famous Ben Arl, the defender, Tilda Lemus in goal, and of course Dennis Drops in goal. So uh, that's our squad tonight. Right, everybody's ready to rock. Danny White already set the circle and to get things moving. Here we go. Hooligans building the anticipation. And we go, here we go. Buggins kick off. Going forward straight away and not holding back. And dispossess. Oliveira setting Costa off. Strike forth from Costa and Oliveira, was so good last weekend. Costa came through. Pass off, nobody there to receive. Yeah, it looked like he was looking for Hernandez and just a bit time pass. Right. Maneuver on the offensive by Eden Dotter on the far side. Building up here, not, uh, not rushing just yet. Yeah. Having a bit of energy. Both teams, as always, trying to get the feel for each other on the field. The uh, new weak spots they can exploit. Anything they need to work on themselves. Already doing a great job of picking their spots. Yes. yes. Well, saying that last weekend was getting a more accurate in the past, and that was a big improvement on last year. They worked on the accuracy of passing and, and anticipation of space. And the cost of again ducking and diving. She does so well. I think Danny Walter will have reached him on this team. and played them last year. You'll know a lot about him. There's a lot of many players from last season team, and Buggy is conceding the first corner of the game. In the second minute. And then also Silver, the only man with bug eaters outside the box, the rest of them all come back. Bug eaters think to finish as hard as possible. It comes swinging in, and headed away by Daniel Whitehall. The buggy does on the far side. Well, it'll be interesting to see how uh, the pitch and the ball, it's just a little bit of a drizzle coming down, mm -hmm. however that affects this game. Right. I uh, imagine there's still some moisture on the uh, field from the showers early this morning. So yeah, it's enough to make it slick. See the offside line being held by Chapman, who goes here for the day when I'm straight on the side, and there's like a, a very rigid line there they're holding. Long ball coming in. Get it away. Oh, there are trying to get away with it. Push out for throw it on the near side. Saw new hands check to take that one. Small area, there's always bobbing around and hitting people because there's going to be people too much in. Bug Eaters FC, pretty content to play a very defensive game. At the present, yeah, they're, uh, they're looking very compact, not they're carving too crazy. So I bet some of you folks in Chattanooga who are not from Nebraska are wondering how they got the name Bug Eaters and uh, it used to be actually a state nickname for it became the Corn Huskers. And it goes back to when there was a, a bad harvest and a 
We already had a big problem with India picking the locusts. If you would have thought the only left to eat was the locusts themselves, so they would call themselves the bug eaters. And that particularly difficult year when they were, you know, colonising the state and getting started off. So uh, that's where the name comes from. It's an old name that means something to people in Nebraska, not necessarily outside of the area. Unusual name for some people, I have to say. It is, but I, I, I love it. I love that the history is in there. Well, that's it. And that, that's good. It's nice to have that. So let's see on over letting one loose. They're blocked out. Good, good block there by the blood eaters. Good Chattanooga throw. Yeah, I get to see Chattanooga feeling comfortable in the uh, attacking half. Well, they, the ball and... they should feel confident after last weekend's game. <laughs> I mean, actually, we've done the confidence. So. Anytime you can hang nine on somebody. That's right. So. Also appearing for a foul back there, but not getting it. Way continuing. Chattanooga keeping possession. And again, I'm going to see by the bug eaters. Good move there. came down that left wing very well indeed. The attack fiddles out and uh, Jack Bennett able to go it up and the team's reset. But most of the action is nearly in the half the buggy was so far. Early days of course, but and he's pressing a little bit more than did last season. A lot more pressing there going. And Whitehall and Sonny has Jack tussling there. White one goes down and takes the ice check with him, but the referee gives the foul the buggy his way. And Daniel White was there last season and came in the box and got injured there and had him as a guest commentator. Nice. Ball in there, comes from nothing, and now they're getting it away. And when he was here, we got talking. Turned out he uh, he's from the same town I went to college in. <laughs> Small world. <laughs> Cole coming to dispossess him nicely. Hernandez. Beautiful pass. Getting the horse wheel. No, he's getting off. No. Sorry, sorry. Horse <laughs> is in the middle. Things might come together. But the, the intent was there. It was there. It was, it was a good ball. It was just yeah. uh Walsh was just a step. Yeah. The intent is there, that's good. Chattanooga, so 
Vamos a ver, que bien te doy. Bring the new 2019 goalkeeper kit right over here. Some of you in chat will know we had the jersey reveal party last night. The new shirt looks very sharp. And this year the goalkeeper is orange, not pink. Uh, once again, Jack will play in dark blue for home and uh, light blue for the away. So, blue t shirt this year. If you haven't got one already, you can get yourself one. Come down here, but there you go. Come to the game, get a shirt. When you buy a shirt, you get to all the games. Like the season ticket for the rest of the season. That's a great deal. <laughs> Best ticket you'll ever have. Yeah, it really is. All the games we've got coming up. So, a great way to get into the game and support the club. Have the nice ball to Wilshire. You're on side. Fernandez, Costa, getting a shot in. Great in the Jack Bennett's arms. Good day. One of those where it's a great shot better save because I've got as accurate a ball as you could have placed. Yes, you could have placed that, but uh, still again, Chatham was showing their intent and not sitting back. They've had a couple of shots and goal already. It's a spectacular clearance there, you know, gets it back out of danger. See it on the header. Feel that. Trying to, try to get the ball to Whitehall. And now to Silver uh, as well. Touch there. Torres. Left wing. And uh, we got it off by. Oh, well, so I was trying to <laughs> get away again. That was a closer call than the last one. Yeah. Chad Hooligan sarcastically letting the refs have it, if they do. Good <laughs> job. Good confident tone though set uh, by both squads here, but certainly uh, Chattanooga on both sides. Trying to try and get away, and yeah, I was just dispossessed in time, but trying to get space to shot. Doesn't come to anything again. Chattanooga starts in the attack. And then this and Dustin working well there. But Maroulis and Dunk to the Lugia. Good one, Danny's mixed up. Again, was that last week? Chattanooga yeah. still getting the, the, the bolt for position in. I think he's not making the connection quite work what they want him to. Pop the back in. Quick shot away there from on there. I'll just put it away to safety and uh, get the try. And check when you get the ball, they press up pretty far. They don't hold back, do they? No, not at all. And I think that just looking at them on the field right now, Chad Wood has to be as fast as you can. I actually I don't mind the Bug Eaters FC, uh, their game plan at all. It's more defensive and mm -hmm. more make sure you pick your spots. I think so. Uh, early on, it's uh, you don't get you know, too aggressive, especially in a friendly game. It's not the, like a league game where you want to start making an impression early on. Uh, Cole. Put the ball in. Just that ball still hopping around. Piano, Tron, that'd be a high foot there from all of her, that's why he doesn't say anything. Mm -hmm. This guy's a little bit slow at the moment, that's uh, rushing it. 
enjoying the play. And the silver off the green, he's just a guess. And there's uh, the end of here, combining well. Again, there's that space there for Wilshire. Oh, it just creeps past the right post. Oh, it's oh, in your mouth. That was a good to change the angle of the shot. Oh, it's in the mouth there. That could have been a goal. Ooh. Yeah, definitely not a... Racket with a bend in there. Uh, this is the... Uh, the other corner hit the pressure. That was his goal, yeah. Yeah, Cole swinging it in towards the far post and the keeps the thing can pick it up. We saw a lot of corners last uh, weekend where they were too long almost. And uh, they're going right to the box and this time they're found the right pace on. So 15 minutes played, still nil nil. Trying to come through the silver. Again, this dress chat moves defense is cleaning up very nicely. Not allowing too much to go by. They are not, are they? They do a really good job They're of offensively hole. getting back into it. They are. Crowding out the chat and never attack. Again, combining just to speed things down. And a good deflection there. Keep the, the defender gets it away and the keeper struggles a bit to hold it and can't hold it. Push it up for another Chinese wrestling corner. It's a good job I thought you could see. I mean, they turned away some really good shots. Mm -hmm. They have. The defense is getting quite a workout tonight. Entry in corner. Head of the way, but not cleared. The Walshley goes right through the box and back to Costa. And there is back deep. Get the connection to work there, and the buggies get the ball back. And the break, come on, back to Whitehall. He's still in the way there again. And Andrews is still here from under his Andrews' feet. The Walshley again. Get outnumbered, and the fastest is where he wants it to go. Jet comes back in, Costa again, oh, the ball's bobbling around here. <laughs> it's not really going the way they want it to. <laughs> That's right. It's a little too random. It is a bit, isn't it? Back in the play. 
Bounce pass by Maria. It was, wasn't it? Very interesting. Yeah, Maria is a very interesting Tumbles, I think he's climbing on the back of White Hall, the referee gives a foul against Bretziano. Gives the bug even a chance to move in the chat near the top. You can see you go over the uh, kick. It doesn't like last time. Spins it into the box or throws it short together. Along again, deep into the box, and Paul Dico gets close every time. Dico put it back in play very fast indeed. Nice to set Chattanooga away. It's a sort of rugby kick. He did, didn't he? It was a really quick one. The Paul players were quite ready for that one. Got a march on this side. It's got the Hasek overlapping. You have to check. A little deflection, and it kind of comes it, it goes back to the key, back to Dennis. Chattanooga using both sides of the field here, too. We're just coming down, we're coming down the wings a lot. Silver trying to get away from Muggy. Cross getting all the way back to win that one and put it in the touch of the throw. Number 10, oh, it's Walshry, he's on side. It's a good round the keeper, oh, the keeper tackles him. That's going to be a card. If he's the last defender, he's in a red card, with a yellow card. And the keeper on that tackle, he's the last defender. Normally a red card. It's the yellow, which is a caution, the red was in the office. As you know, it's a yellow card. Hold a yellow card up to the microphone, so you can see that folks at home. There you go. It's a yellow card. The yellow card sponsored today by Captain White and McGarvey, fixing television in Chattanooga. Thank you to them for the yellow card. But, uh, that would normally be a red card, and the last defender takes down the attack or a different scoring opportunity. That's a straight ejection. It's a friendly, it's a yellow. And I, and I think that's why they chose to do that. Yeah, it's not a serious game, and it'd been a league game, it'd been a straight red, and they'd have to be in trouble there, the old team. Here's our first of the drama of the night. And that will give the buggy the, the jitters for sure when that happens. It sends the ripple through the whole team. And uh, we'll see if that's uh, something Chattanooga takes by. Sure we've got uh, Costa and Cole over the free kick. Costa. And again, Bennett holds it. Walter will slip, so he lets it go and picks it up again. But uh, the buggy has lived for quite another day. <laughs> A little casual there with the kick. A little bit. <laughs> Maybe too much. Uh, I think so. And we have a foul against the body. Danny White will give him a rest, a bit of a knock. Okay. I'm going to walk that one off. Just a little shake it up there. Oh, that's a little Alright, Jordan Johnson comes back in his way. Shot deflected right in the water, he <laughs> cannot get it to go in. Could not get it right. He'll be that, first right that's two goals. Has touched so many. After two goals last weekend, so he <laughs> no, he's, he's touched so many would be goals today. Right. He's got to be at least a little frustrated. Sure. But we know he's a proven goal scorer, so I think we'll uh, make something happen tonight. Small adjustment, I'm yeah. sure he'll find it. Jack Williams, 
far side and crossing it again. Shooting the ball nicely. Bushy fighting for it to get it back. And now there's gets it in and it's going to foul. Pretty physical there. Foul for the first half. And it's still nil nil, but enjoy the soccer. Absolutely. And I like the the officials are letting them play. Well, that's, that's good, so they yeah, aren't interfering in the game if they have to. We, we've seen several games where the officials become the focus of attention. This isn't one of them. Probably back to the meter on the rear. Uh, basketball dribbling. It, was, it didn't quite go right. It's just a head header. It's a bit of a way from the If the defender ain't anywhere, heads it back, the keeper with to their feet, then the goalkeeper can't pick it up. Um, but they can't kind of leave their head on the part of the body. Oh, good steal there. Buggy's looking for an attack now. Try to a shot, dispossessed. And again, still at the smoke. There's Villa getting the shot in. Not pulling up the silver. Buggy's getting their first corner of the game. But yeah, you have to watch that when you pass back to the goalkeeper. You can use your head. Uh, but you can't use your foot because that counts as a pass back and uh, you may not to pick it up. So we've seen those errors too in other games. That's the ball that came effect about 10 years ago. People still get there. But he's deep in swinging a bit too deep for anyone. Danny Whitehall chases it and it's gone for a goal kick to Chattanooga. Corner opportunities. A whole lot more important for Bug Eater than Steve in Chattanooga. Yeah, I think the one so far didn't make a great use of that. And the is bringing up the right wing. Nobody on him, he's got plenty of time to really look up. Now we're getting a little pressure. Silver. Chattanooga defuses. We are on a long, great ball that was there, I was sitting there and went out, it crossed the line, so that's a throw into Bug Eater. But, uh, well, let's see, I agree. He's met with some of the goals last week, yeah, he did some great passes. He just had to strike as a midfield off to do their job. But, uh, it all starts with a great pass in the back. Well, a lot of times, you don't give enough credit for that. The ball went out across the line, trying to chat with you. Steady, well, the light rain we've got making it Italy, but it's still not uh, heavy enough to stop the game. It's just, uh, that annoying drizzle you get to uh, stop the game. It's in possession right now. I like the idea though. I like the idea. Not so much the execution, but the idea is great. Push off there. 
Keeper warmed up. Harry Ray. And they come on to the second half. Everybody wants to get some playing time now. I think it's trying to set happening over the second side. It's, like, it's slick out there, it's sliding away. Tobias Smith, he's trying to get something going. And the, uh, in this first, it's the ball goes get away from it, Gwen. Just enough moisture to make it awkward, but not enough to really make it soaking wet. It's not the one move, so it's skipping around a bit. As you can see, we've got the soccer field marked out. We haven't got the gridiron. We uh, have a unique thing to the same where we can flip the gridiron lines over. And we can have a soccer field. Uh, well, I think we have to play on top of both. It's hard to lines but here. They're nice and clear. And this year they're white, last year they were yellow, this year they're white, and they're very clear indeed, so it's right playing on a, a regular soccer field. And then when uh, the football teams come to town, they can flip it over and have a gridiron, so it's a very versatile field. Trying to give me a lot of space, aren't they? I don't feel like it's closing down just yet. Uh, the first few minutes of the game, maybe 10, 15 mm -hmm. minutes, uh, there was no room, and now there's a little bit of room yep. to operate. Yep. It gives me a bit too much room, I'd say, but it makes the game job to watch, because that's some move around this cost of trying the volume to get the way things are way up in the air. Again, I'm marked and trying to take the volume. So 30 minutes played out of the first half, we've got 15 to go. Still nil nil. A lot of games here, people just think playing like a little tram line on the edge of the field, so even the whole thing, they just play up in a very narrow part of the field here. There's a lot of throws given to that. So, buggy to the free kick on the far side. We're going to close it into the box. Low ball, clear out by Chattanooga. Lucky just not using quite that one. Lucky to get the ball back. Silver and... Outside. Torres offside there. Sorry, Torres. Torres offside. Central. 
Jackson putting it out there. Like he's getting through. Lucha Chapman in the pass. Galeo through with the throw. To Whitehall. Nice touch there. And Jordan Johnson hoops it away. <laughs> nice to say. It takes off what was with first bank. Marcus has a set of more. And of course, Volkswagen on the main sponsor of the year. Couldn't do this for that, you guys, so I think you'll get that chair. Costa again, who gets pushed away. Foul given against uh, the Vikings that push. Pretty blatant and uh, hard to miss that one. Yeah, it wasn't too cool. It was uh, pretty to miss that one. On, hold, back to Costa. Here he comes, coming in fast. Back, who's there, and then it reads it. A couple of shout outs. A lot of people watching at home. I know there's people watching at Omaha, Nebraska, and Heidi, you guys, and ladies. Also, uh, Jason, I know you're watching in Georgia. And uh, listen, Shep, watching in Hickson. Hope you're enjoying the game. Uh, people watching it all over. Well, I see people watching this around the world. I'm not sure if they really are. It's a great ball. Good shot. Oh, just over the Ah, oh, come on. Oh, he's there again. You're getting in space there. So, I know there are a lot of players here from uh, Spain and families in Spain watching the circus that way. So, thank you for that. Very much folks in Spain and England and everywhere else is watching. I think it's the 40th minute, still 0 0. 
Does anyone get a go full house time kill? Uh, my bet would be Chattanooga FC has had many chances to come away with one. They'll probably have a couple more. Maybe they do. Just great, we haven't really made something of it. We actually have got to get old, so many close ones. Hernandez coming forward. He's got Oliver, old Costa on his own. Costa coming inside, hits it. Oh, the keeper gets a foot on it, and it bobbles away into the corner. Of course, you know, you always say that in these games, it's cursed for commentators where we say, Chattanooga is definitely going to score next, then Buggy is going to break and nick a goal. Well, <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't play for you. Yeah, you try, you try not to say it definitely happened because of the Buggy. It definitely happens happen. in sports, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. Buggy's ball coming. Touch it away. Still running around at another corner. Chattanooga are hitting for a foul there, but not getting it. That is nine corners to one in favor of Chattanooga. I think they'd come away with one just on sheer you probability. Were, you were just not on the fast alone. We got somebody hurt there, referees. Getting a chance to get a bench rush in the finger right there. So they want to keep playing. Keep playing, keep playing. And Okay, so we'll take the corner now, here we go. In swimming from Kostic, deep, right through, and nobody at the end of that one. And it trickles. We're trying to go far to do has check. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if it would have fooled the rest of the bug eaters, but they actually got one on the blind side of Bennett's one. Mm -hmm. Trying there for you, has Jack. Referee scoring. Is he going to call a foul on that one? Oh, I think he might be going to have a worldly has Jack that trying on the back of a player. That was waving the yellow card at Sorry has Jack. Unusual to see that. The climbing on Daniel Whitehall's back. I mean, Daniel Whitehall gives knocks and takes knocks, you know that. So, the referee doesn't know Daniel's made of tough stuff. Just pick up the first yellow Chattanooga. One yellow card each per side. I'm surprised to see that because the defenders do kind of use a lean on attackers in that kind of situation. Yeah, I'm showing Bill Elliott talking to the fourth push and not happy about that. <laughs> no. <laughs> and in fact, it's happened uh, this game a few times with no. And there's a good block by Oliver. Charges down the kick. The referee's calling it back. I think Oliveira was a bit too close. He was him 10 yards away and he wasn't. And the referee is talking to Oliveira about that. And telling him not to do that. But it's his job as referee to make sure he's 10 yards away and didn't do that. So you can't really blame the player for trying. He's supposed to mark out the 10 yards and show him where it is. And, yep, and the player's supposed to um, get a point he didn't do that. that. And the player, if the player gets away with it, he's going to try and get away with it. So here we go again, second time around. Deep in the box, and a nice easy Gamico catch. I think he'll take those all night long. That gives a deflection of the buggy. He's one of their returning defenders, one of the attackers. And what are we doing now? Hang on. Gamico. Here he is. He's playing a foul or a handle. He's not happy with that one. Ripley is trying to give something to the body. Here we go. Danny White will have a word. As Danny does. And there's not enough. It wasn't intentional. I don't, I don't think it was intentional, but I think D'Amico wants more room when he goes to, to kick it downfield. Well, he's, he's going for a very fast clearance as soon as he gets the ball. And some of the players don't get a chance to get back into position and reset. 
That's not the work sometimes. So. Well, he was pooping it into the box. Jordan Dunstan fighting for it and winning it again. As he does. Nice play. And now they push it away to all his error. Pete May coming in that one. Can't quite get it under control. He has checked. Catching the ball and the play. And there's Whitehall. Trying to even things up a little bit. So a couple of uh, high feet on that one, shall we say, but uh, a little bit of friction behind him. Yeah, a little bit of contact, especially uh, when it's not get called. If the contact is not yet called, so uh, get a little chip here. Yellow card on Danny White, also. Too much aggression there. First time Dan has got one of them, of course, that's the way he plays, and he's, he's a good attacker. The referee didn't like it. Alright. So, half time is ready to be called. We're on, we're on injury time right now. That's in March, maybe a minute to play. Chat moving into goal at the last minute. And we'll be going to the locker room even. Let's see. Okay, two minutes, not one minute at a time. There we are. So we replayed more than a minute of that already. Oh, that's a slick field again, the ball getting away from number three, Jan Chauvin. It's an opportunity for Chad It is. If it makes something happen, it'd be great to go in the half time and goal up. And again, now they're reading those passes to Costa better. That was much better. Come in, Costa unmarked, comes in, room. He's going to shoot, trying to find space. Oh! Right across the goal again! Oh, so frustrating. Mary Spong doing a good job there to defend that and keep it out, but. Costa got enough space to get the shot on. I mean, he hasn't got much more extra time to play, so... That second of hesitation... Now, I think that was it. I think he should have shot first time. When he had the space. He just let fly there, but he didn't. Maybe he'll regret that if it uh, comes down to that shot being the next one. Again, trying to get something going. Plays over two minutes of extra time then. And that's a bit of easy to be able to pick up. And attack again that breaks down. What's where you getting ready to blow the whistle perhaps? No rush. Okay, there he is. And it's half time. Nil nil. Not the great soccer. Both of them are going to way tonight. And uh, lots of excitement. Enjoy that game. Good game. Lots of peace and goals though. What about you? We play tonight. So uh, Chattanooga FC getting us underway. They're playing from your right to the left. And here we go. And they play first half is nil nil. Lots of chances but no goals. So we'll see if. Uh, Probably can change in the second half. I've heard that the Buggies are more of a second half team. So we'll see if that is the case in this game. I've been told there's a lot of people in uh, the graph are watching too, so we really appreciate you guys being there. I hope you're enjoying the game in the commentary. And uh, we know you all love soccer. And uh, that's great, so we'll bring you 45 minutes of great soccer from Chattanooga. Let's see if the Buggies are going to happen here. We're trying to. Play moving, and again it's all kind of small space. It's packed into like a couple of square meters here. Like a hundred. It is, isn't it? <laughs> we got the whole field, and it's played with Phil sort of Domingo with the ball, and back in the box, falls on it. Get that out of Jordan's gut. I think that might actually be Bennett Struts in for Domingo. Is that Bennett Struts? I think that's Bennett. Maybe get my glasses on. Well, you know it is, thank you, Phil. <laughs> So uh, those drops get to come on, Phil gets a breather, before he gets a draft <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
That's something else. Do you see any other changes out there? I, I think that might be the only one. The only one, okay. Not seeing anybody else different on either side. I see the buggy at the exit, keep it with the yellow cars. There's some discussion out in the half camera, what about that yellow card and uh, various things that it should have been a red or a yellow, but uh, the yellow it is for now. So Chattanooga with a free kick. We got coming up here. We've got a special guest joining us, folks, too. All the way from Nebraska, Jonathan. Good to see you. Glad to be here. Great to see you, sir. You enjoy the game. A little nervous, but uh, definitely happy to be here. Okay. Happy uh, that uh, we've been competitive. Right. We've been enjoying the game. Certainly, the Chattanooga has been enjoying it. And uh, I mean, you've got a lot of folks watching at home, as I was just saying a minute ago. Do you want to say anything to the folks back in Omaha? We're just thrilled to, uh, we're thrilled to be here, and I, I can tell you that the fans back home, um, the engagement that we have, uh, what, what you do here is uh, it's absolutely amazing, and uh, you know we've, we've done a fantastic job back back home, mm -hmm. and I know that okay. uh, there's a lot of mutual respect, and so you know to, to people in the brass, so thank you for supporting us, thank you for sticking with us. I hope that you see that the quality of play is absolutely here. And, you know, the, the team that we're fielding today is an all-Nebraska uh, college-based team uh, with some alumni as well. So we're really excited about that. That's great. Well, that's kind of going to be like it's getting grassroots soccer on the way in America and, uh, you know, building to a higher level as fast as we can do. So uh, uh, we're such a big company, it's going to be a lot of people playing. A portion of the population, so we've got a big pool of players to pick from. I hope. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something is one thing that blows me away is the fan engagement here. Mm -hmm. The Chad and Williams are absolutely amazing. Uh, we've got a great supporter group uh, in the field hands. And uh, yeah, the field hands is a good name. I like it. It's it. absolutely a fan. So Mike Blankley <laughs> uh, came up with the, the name. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got uh, my guys Sam and Dex with the field hands who have just they've been with us the whole the whole way and we're really excited about the season. So uh, we had a tough game last week. This one's even more difficult mm -hmm. and uh, we're just uh, you know again just blown away by what you guys are doing here. Well, thank you. We're going to get a lot of nice things with that chat and uh, it's, uh, it's a big, busy group, and it's got bigger and bigger, and uh, some of us get to the game, so, you know, what do you do, who does that, and we're like, oh, well, we used to know, and now it's just like, we all started off with hooligans down there, and it's like committees for bags, and committees for drums, and committees for this, and we're like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I stood with them the first half. Okay, yeah, was that? Brilliant, and so the one thing that fans may not be able to hear is, uh, they uh, called our keeper Mountain Dew, yep. and then they called him Bud Light Line, yep. which was absolutely hilarious. We always give the keeper the hard time about their name. Yeah. But, you know, we're, we're, we're happy with that because you've got traffic cone at the other end. We have got traffic cone. Usually we're calling somebody else traffic cone or, uh, or oh, yellow. Oh, yellow. Man. Oh, well, there's that goal. Mm. It's Taylor Cone. Cole. Oh. Cole. He's in the back post and throws it in. First goal in the 50th minute. Well, I nice to see that. Well, it's really cool. There's a lot of traffic in the box. Well, don't get in cover's way. And what you get, but uh, that goal's been coming sometime. Sorry, Jonathan, but it has. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you guys. Yeah. You know, they drove 14 hours down here. Oh, yeah. And uh, we've only been together for uh, a couple weeks now. But, well, you wouldn't uh, know it. We'll play very well today. Thank you. Well, I have a feeling we've got one coming back here pretty quick. Oh, good. Well, <laughs> that means we're going to go to the game on that point. I, I like to see a, a good game on both sides, and that's okay. But. Win or lose, the most important thing is that, you know, we came down, you guys welcomed us, and uh, I hope we're, we're, we're competitive. I hope we get the come, number one thing. So. I hope we get to come back and play in Nebraska sometime. And if, if you need a sub team in for Rail Betty, so I think my guys will come back. They'll come back? Okay. <laughs> Just to know. Just to know, because, you know. <laughs> you just never know. Again, that's Dale Maker. Set him all the air off. Oh, so I was a streaking up. Right. 
You've got some fast players. So uh, we, we do. We do. We, uh, we make sure we eat no weeches before they come on the field. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, this will be a really focused fitness. It's paying off. Yeah. yeah. And there's that ball in again. Yeah, the keeper's going to have that one right out. But, so, yeah, good play for Chandler. Keep the pressure on. Not getting back off the first goal. So, so, so where, where we're excited. You know, excited to get here. Excited to be here. Excited about the season. Uh, excited to be at Morrison Stadium, uh, which is home of Creighton. Uh, Pacific Youth Stadium, which is absolutely outstanding. You know, we're, we're at our peak game right now as far as fan engagement and, and everything else we want for our kids. Mm -hmm. Great, great pre sale on that. Good, good. So, uh, so challenging here, here but uh, you know, we'll see how the uh, we'll see how the uh, season works out. But mm -hmm. you know, this is by far the uh, largest, biggest game that we have. Okay. We'll see if we can get away. I think they I think they're using a nerf the second half, I probably do. Oh, well, I'm glad you had the chat who Rick there with Jonathan. I know he's glad you're all here. So, uh, we've got a lot of stuff on game day. It used to be quite short and simple, and now it's loaded into the big tail game from you know, the post match beers of the players and all sorts. It's just got to be on the whole non exhausting day. How do you find all that? It's, uh, I mean, it's, I, it's as good as any operation I've seen. So, you know, I've been to so many different matches mm -hmm. here and uh, in England as well. And it's, I mean, it's right there with many of them. Oh, cool, thank you. The matches they're getting the ball away from a corner. The Chattanooga wrestling. The official cost of the Chattanooga is at the corner this time. Still the last couple. We're very really lucky to have this stadium, of course. We've uh, been here since we started, it makes a lot of difference to have a great stadium. So it's got all the header goes through, but I get it to connect there. So well, we're just trying to get it to the score sheet again. But yeah, we're very lucky we have this, and it's a great sort of thing, so it makes things a lot easier for us, and the location is perfect. But, you know, all the things you don't think about for a team, like parking, changing rooms, and that stuff, we've got to do that, luckily. We've been to so many places, that, like high school stadiums, that thing. People are finding their towns, so we're, we're lucky we have it. Yeah, the amenities here absolutely amazing. It makes it a much better game day experience if I'm new like that. And uh, also makes it into Fort Finley, which makes it hard to do the game. I know if you're on the field, they're going to have a nice touch there. Vestiano shipping it in. Enjoy it. Um, if you're standing on the chat of hooligans on the field, and you can hear them when you're playing, it's very loud. <laughs> very, very loud. Yeah. There's a lot of teams coming who play in a small stadium and don't get the big crowds. They find it a bit disorienting with her. And uh, you see a lot of players on the bench pushing me shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, several times we were. When we first started in 2009, I was you were hooligans. We were uh, told many times we were too loud. And uh, one point we got threatened, and that sense of being the police were too noisy, and we were like, wow, great, we're doing the right thing. Because that was supposed to be noisy. I know you've been said to think you've been engaged in England and Europe. Oh, and it was just incredibly loud. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, it's been to many, many, many games. <laughs> I think that's right. Something we did is try and model ourselves a bit on the European game, so we have a lot of them. Some of the same features. Well, one thing to speak of the game, I found interesting, Mark, is uh, one of my players at Bradford Park Avenue, I'm actually one of the partners and director of that club, mm -hmm. uh, was with Chattanooga, and it was uh, Connor Branson who was here. Okay. And I found that out earlier today. We actually signed Connor uh, at the beginning of the past season and then sent him to the next season to work. Absolutely thrilled. Okay. It's great to make that connection. So, do you have your final squad yet? Are you still working on it like we are? You know, um, I'll take what we can. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're, we're still building our. Uh, we got most of the players signed up. We're still working on that. We we have some Division One guys coming, but uh, I'll tell you, we have an absolutely fantastic squad. Um, our depth is about forty players. Right. And. The big thing is that 
the relationships that we have with the local schools and the uh, colleges and universities that's actually outstanding. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's, that's how you build it. Well, there is, and that, that's why you see John maybe they say, have the academy here, and we do work with the schools, and we, you know, we don't want to involve them trying to reach out to the, the Hispanic people who are all not that soft like we are. So um, we, we try to do that and do that homegrown players like Caleb Cole coming in. And we, uh, we work on all that stuff. So yeah, and that's the reason why you do the Jews in doing the boxing. Uh, you can't just buy your way into it, you've got to feel which step You have to. So yeah. like I've always said about this is a community club. Mm -hmm. And the team that we're fielding is a good example of that. There's right. That we're using right. right. Uh, you know, the local universities and yep. colleges and uh, right. connections. Yep. That, that is the way to do it. And uh, there is a shot from behind you can't do that. <laughs> it goes on quickly. And then I'll just carry out the kit. Yeah, that is, that is the way to do it. And we're finally paying off now down the road. The first few years of getting the team together now, so we've got to pay off, you'll see that turn so it works. Yeah, so. Chattanooga the to find some space for a moment. Okay, this is still do what they want to do without being on the pressure just yet. You said there that the buggy is a set and a half feet, Jonathan, is that right? Uh, let's see what the score turns out. That's oh, okay. my oh, opinion. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we actually, here's the thing is that, I mean, these guys coming into this atmosphere, there's a, there are a lot of nerves, so, okay. you know, we usually settle in the second half. Right. Um, so, you know, but you guys are just come from pressure. And, uh, you know, but we're hanging in there. We're really right. happy about that. Show me to get ready to make a substitution. Zeka coming on. Number nine. This is Max Borsh for your break. So substitution for Buggy was two. Um, Derek from number 14 coming off. And Jaeger Erickson number 19 coming off. Jaeger from Belgium University. Okay. Try to get something going. Here we go. Can we get the break? Shutting those flying players back. Are they fast enough? There's Mopman. Mop to the front. Mopman. Mop to the front. Too bad. That was a good move. Yeah. 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 It really was. I'm starting to feel better about being a second half team. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to pick up the broadcaster first, dude. Well, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't happen. If you guys will jinx, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Use bills to use the dress, please. <laughs> <laughs> and this silver there off. Is it too long? And a bit too strong on that one. The buggy is a throw. This is your, I like your um, red and white stripes. Is that more than any team in Europe? Is it like Southampton or somebody? Or is this some of your picks? Well, it's, uh, it's buggy. Okay. So, I like it. it. No, it was, uh, we have, you know, red, black, and white. Mm -hmm. And uh, for this year, I wanted to do something that's simple. Right. Something that looked good. Um, I've got Southampton, I've got Stoke. Okay. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, it's Bug Eaters. Okay. And uh, <laughs> I don't think you'll see Southampton play with uh, the black short right. black socks. But okay. No, it's a, it's a good design. It's simple, but yeah. it's, it's clean and it's, it's definitely us. Uh, I like it. The guys love the kids. Good. Yeah, it's Over the years, it's been quite a few different colours in this field, and some work, and... Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Like, Ooh, it's, hello. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a foul given. Take that one quickly. Pull back. And your wife will again. Be careful, that is not yellow, so you need to... <laughs> not to talk back to the referee, but I know Danny from last year, so I know he will keep doing that. <laughs> really a foul on the end of the replay. Yeah. Here we go. One ball in the box. You all dusted on it. 
the wrong way. Oh, with that very dark and killed him either. <laughs> Plays an hour, still one nil Chattanooga. So Caleb Cole, strike at the back post, even if it's the second half. You just pass that to our best player, Invisible Man. Ah. <laughs> We used to have one of those, didn't we? He's <laughs> <laughs> trying to find a gap in the defence, but uh, it's not there right now. Maria's clearing up that one for struck. I think Maria's from the uh, Dunstan combining pretty well this game. Mm. Tussle and foul give him against the buggy from the halfway line. Despite the rain, the hooligans are in great voice. Unbelievable. That's all. Large amounts of beer, I have to say, but uh, an enthusiasm. <laughs> beer was a little bit watered down. Today. Yeah, the rain's not flashed, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, nothing stops these guys. I've been there during these games in the rain. No, we, we just keep on keeping on. The energy is unbelievable. Yep. Uh, to the field hands listening, uh, I've been uh, taking notes and we'll uh, prepare them to get on. <laughs> uh, Alright, not man leaves the field and uh, Carlos Valera coming on there. Carlos Valera going on. Jordan Lopez coming on. Thank you. Jordan Lopez from uh, Lead Academy in Omaha. Right. Mm -hmm. Wild trying to get something going wrong. He's out of space. He's a bit frustrated there. Chattanooga on the near side. Oh, he's getting ready to take it. Chattanooga getting ready to make substitution. Cam Wood's been the one to come on. Give him a go there. 
is looting the lesson. Man, they're looking up. Find the open man, he gets the good. Shit thing. Mm. Pereira oh, is the good. Yes, yes. 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 I think they are there, go number two in the 67th minute. He plays slide again, washes replay. He goes on the side, he just creeps in. Into the cheek of the goal on the far side, nothing they can do to stop that one. Great goal. Look at that. 2 0 Chattanooga. Really got the hooligans pumped up, swinging those flags around. The rain is not damping anybody's spirit to it in the stadium tonight. If you were sitting at home in the dry, well, you shouldn't be. You should be in the rain enjoying it. It's a great atmosphere tonight. Chattanooga making a substitution. It's like Cam Wood's been coming on. Let's see who is coming off. Yeah, <laughs> Long it's a little over break for the next week's game against Nashville SC, up in Nashville. If you can't get some planes on. Cam, one of the players who uh, signed a contract with CSC last week. Well, sorry, week before. Um, this week is signed to you. Oh, what was that? Mm. For a foul. So, goal kick given. Danny White was very frustrated there with that one. So, uh, gets nothing out of it, I'm afraid, and then Strupp gets the goal kick. I'm going to say we uh, got Caleb Cole got pen plays this week, so I'm chatting you to see as long as Joanne Laidley from Jamaica who's on the bench tonight. You might see him play a little bit. Uh, France, so uh, the squad is forming week by week. The next stop is Chattanooga, warming up. Anyway, right, we'll try and make something happen again. He's possessed on the far side, but he's He's intense, slow, he's strong as ever. Costa seen the ball back. Not. Play goes on. There it is. Bargina's coming through, trying to get the give and go. Mm. He's struck. Throws himself down and grabs the ball. Costa's <laughs> got a knock and uh, struck, chucked the ball out for a throw. And Costa gets some attention. Yeah. The buggy's starting to look dangerous. The uh, second half of Russia. We'll do that. Yeah, okay. we'll do that now and then. Good, yeah, good. Yeah. I'll tell you, you know, it's, it, we had uh, Little Rock last Sunday. Mm -hmm. so okay. it was 11 hours, and the right. one's 14. But I'll tell you, Little Rock's got an amazing thing going there. Mm -hmm. They've got uh, fantastic support. They've got Red Launch. And then uh, Jonathan Jones, that team, is uh, really putting together a nice, nice uh, Game day, like okay. here. Good, good. But this is, uh, this is the gold standard. Sometimes they get their set up because we're a friend there from school. Maybe go sleep. Well, there's substitution. Right, Max Welsh will tell him. Right, sure. Someone who has checked coming off. Daniel with an eye coming on. Another stage of four defender. Someone's girlfriend here tonight. Who's been playing for the first time in Chanu? We'll put the load to her. It's her birthday. How are you? Happy birthday to you. Trying to get the game to work in there, didn't quite come together. And the buggy to get something going against Charles Dustin. Strong there. Keeping the ball safe. Just to see more pressure from the buggy in the second half. This is uh, not laying down, which I like to see teams that lose goals lay down. These guys are not. Okay. 
<laughs> Would you watch the play more than I? <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I, and again, what it is, is it's nerves, and coming into an environment like this, um, you guys are used to it, it's, uh, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> that ball swinging across Kaylee away nicely. And across on the far side, Costa is straightening away, hard to catch that man. The ball, the bat, that ball's a lot of body, he's going to let something out of this. The silver and this left Jordan Duncan again. Strong. Taking the ball off him, not drawing a foul. He's like running into a wall. It really is the Jordan, he's something else. He's played out his back with the ball. Nice little touch there. Across the field. Ball's free in the box. Somebody threw yes. it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> He was testing the fabric, very important to do that during the game. <laughs> <laughs> we had the kit reveal that back in. Oh, well, there you go. Let me good enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jack needs to calm things down a little bit. <laughs> this is the in the middle. Nice roll. Pretty cold on Oliveira. Oliveira loose it in. Cold's there, but nobody's there to get the touch. Oliveira come away. Try and find down your white off, but Morales. Yeah, they always take the thing out of that one. The dogs have been moving. They got a long ball over the top. Chattanooga keep playing that. Get a word of deck to bring it deep into the box. Mm. That's still loose. Oh! oh. 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 They're taking another volley. Not able to shoot that one down either. I want the first half. It's uh, a cracking goal that had gone in. Chatting to the substitution coming up. Jermaine Lazy from Jamaica. Get ready to come on. And he's forward. Let's see who we're taking off for a place in. Replacing Joao Costa. Oh, Brazilian. Mr. Ledley's yacht in his boots with some goals. Here he comes, get his yacht. He's got plenty of speed. He's got those bright orange shoes, I should have spot him easily in those. Down, but that'll give me other way. Maybe the body. The lane's really coming down hard now, but not stopping the channel. Hooligans, a lot of fans are enjoying the game tonight. The turn is cleared out in there. Good looking CSC ponchos that are a new feature in the merchandise shop. If they look good in those, is that or not? <laughs> Tonight's attendance, by the way, 1254. It's not too bad considering the weather's not great. And we're competing against graduation weekend again at some schools, so not too shabby. Oliveira into the corner again, cannot quite get it away. All kept in play. Trying to find the right tall, right on turns, and plays is pulled over, but I didn't see it. Nice move by Oliveira, by the way. Not running the box and not competing the corner. Right. We'll see. In space. Nice ball, too strong. Too strong to the echo. Good idea. Daniel White was looking for that break. He gets away, you know it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. he, uh, I'm sure you would watch the video and get that goal against Nashville that was back in the last year. We were like, it was like, a big jaw dropping. <laughs> Three times in the last day. It, it, uh, you know, Daniel White, so. Competition coming up for the bug eaters. Number 
Sick. Really glamorous. Wanted to uh, join the fun. Why talk about it with Dunstan? Not getting any joy out of that one. And the ball trickles out. Drops it to over. Hit. Good soccer tonight. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Oh, what? <laughs> Does that count? Is the referee going to give that? I don't think I'm even want to do it, but... What's he doing? I was one heck of a shot. He's going to do it. What's the replay? Look at that. I saw him practicing a pen. Wow! He's practicing field goals for four games. There's a goal back to the body. I'm talking about a cut. That's one. Number eight, JTC. JTC is going to get the goal. This one back in the seven or eight minutes. Two one. Two one. Two one. Two one. He's going to go for a draw. Let's see what we got. Two minutes to play. Lots of drama to come, I hope. I think it's a pretty good game. A good part from that goal we were playing there in the first half, too. Yeah, yeah. We talked about it quite a bit. It was all of there. Oh, a nasty little foul all of there. It would probably be a card in most games. Kick on the edge of the 18 yard box, that is always dangerous. Who do I talk to about getting film uh, of that goal to, to uh, showcase the team? Uh, you talk to a man down there. A man in the stylish grey shirt. <laughs> That's pretty good. I enjoyed that. You don't see many of those, do you? Alright. Wood thing chips it in. Balls are loose. Oh, skip past the far post. The corner. Chandu is still with a chance. Pretty hard so far. 
Jack uh, came to us from Concordia, mm -hmm. out of Seward, Nebraska. Uh, he's from England originally, mm -hmm. and uh, I think. He has a future in the game. You're right. You're right. The bucket comes up and fizzles out. They keep a flow right under the chat. It's very loud indeed. It's been going. The flow was interrupted. Clear the way. Push it away safely. Leave the corner. This is up. My man of the match actually is the capo for uh, Ken's channel. Oh, really? He's been uh, energy the whole game. Okay. <laughs> he's, uh, he's always like that. He's, he's, he's uh, yeah. got an arm hand game and all that. He's uh, Yes, he likes to drop the during the day, mild man, and at the weekend he's Superman. Yeah, he never stops. Crossman can't let anything legally getting away. He's got all of their old good inception there, and they're off the ball. Tackle, but no harm done. Maybe we're trying to break and the buggy's slowing them down. Yeah, we're starting to get into scrappy time. Well, as I get tired, that happens with people a lot. You really can't tell on the feed, but it's, it's coming down. It really is coming down. <laughs> really hard, really, really, really what, really what makes it even more impressive is that Chad Hooligan's arc. Not one of them. Oh, we don't flinch anything. And when, when they tell us to go indoors when it's storms and it's lightning, we're like, do we have to? I mean, um, we do, we're just down there and the police have to make us move. We're like, we do not move for anything. Yeah, we uh, we started here in 2009, near about four or five friends that come back. And we didn't have drums, you know what was going on. And then the first time we bought paint buckets to make noise the first couple of games. And we, and we were like, oh, you like soccer? Yeah, I like soccer. Like soccer. <laughs> and it was like, oh. And it kind of grew from there and just attracted like minded well, people. Look at what he has this year. Yeah. You've got Detroit City twice. Sure. You've got Cosmos, you've got Rail Betches. Mm -hmm. You've got Queen Chapion who's come to town for what I'm yeah. That was an amazing game. And then I'll, I'll toss out, you've got Buggy. Yeah. Just give myself a Well, there's them too. Shouts to me. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, the quality of that and just seeing how we play tonight, I'm really, really proud of the guys. So what are you going to do? Well, you knew that was coming. Cool. You knew that was coming. Oh, sure. DJ. Yeah. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll take a shot. Absolutely. Sure, sure. But, yeah, we thought, I know, you probably have two in the last. We thought a lot of people aren't really soccer fans that enjoy the community and the atmosphere. And they get in the soccer after that. We've got quite a few of those people come on board, too. And, that, and that's absolutely it. Is, uh, Chad Hooligans was talking to me about that. They said, you know, they're not fans of the game, they're fans of the TFC. Right. And there's. It's something really special, something amazing. They come here for these games. Sure. This is this is the game too. Right. Right. Yeah, it's, it's a social get together too, but the game's an important part of it. So, uh, and yeah, I mean, people will to stand in the ring for 90 minutes, <laughs> not get paid. as well, that's pretty good. So, but, uh, yeah, that, that's a good thing. The community. Um, I've, I've coached shop for many years and I've always told the boys I coach and you can do all the games that are on offer and there's a lot on offer in America. Um, that's a good on board and you really get to get in the York and you're man. Um, but with soccer you, you can play anywhere around the world with very little equipment and you'll make friends almost immediately. Well, you're, you're definitely a fan of the game. You told me you're Queen's Park Rangers. I am. I've, I'm, and I, I told you I'm a Crystal Palace fan. I know. We're definitely true. But, we're still, but, we're still <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean... 
Well, I think a lot of people are, you know, a lot of big teams, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, if you, you know, really get in the game, you, you tend to stick with the team you've got, good or bad, relegation or promotion, <laughs> you go with them. Yeah, it's every minute, trying to slow it down, stuff, Jenny White is trying to get something, but it's all good. Chattanooga playing out the game. So much injury time. We'll see. Well, if you look at one of them, trying to get away and win the ball and call the push. Your staff has been absolutely amazing. I think with Sheldon and Tim, class all the way. The thing that like blew my mind was the fact that you had a uh, kids' activity pack about buggies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We do our best. I'm taking notes and I'm actually Good. Then sending them to my CEO in, in England. Good. Mark off things we can do. There's an awful lot you can do if you don't think about it. The whole day better. I'm very happy with the quality of the game today. Yeah, we've enjoyed it. Yeah. It's been good. And and I, I owe one apology to your uh, color analyst here that I've been um, basically taking this job for the second half. I don't mind at all. You can have the next one. Oh, no, I like that. I'll like that. <laughs> I get to watch the game. Do you any thoughts on that? Yeah, you're enjoying the game. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I just get to sit back and watch the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They think maybe the same thing either way. So. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> 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 I just kept you to do my job. It's <laughs> on your room. <laughs>
it's as good having a player who's as interested in the game as we are, and you know, he's keen on grass, it's like chatting with Somebody asked me um, mm -hmm. in an interview recently at the work, visually in Germany, and colleagues, they mean everything. I mean, you mm -hmm. can see the both sides are playing. Yeah. Um, it's not like a, you know, something of these other matches, but it means a lot of people. Yeah, they're working hard. I can tell all the sides are working hard. And, that wet field is getting away from the bend. It's getting away. I'm going to end up going down there to uh, thank my team for coming all the sure. way down and everything else. But I want to thank you guys for having me here. And uh, this organization, class, top to bottom, and uh, very impressive. But thank you again for having me. Well, oh, thank you, John. We appreciate you making a long drive. 14 hours is no, uh, no <laughs> day. <laughs> thank you for doing that. We'll be here anytime. Thanks, sir. We'll come and see you. And we appreciate you very much. Have a great stay right home. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, it's been a great game so far. Picture on the chat here, we're going to keep it trying to play. So, uh, Keir, do you want any, uh, any highlights you've seen tonight? Now you're back at your first game of the season, enjoying the thing, and got some, some highlights you want to let us know about? Yeah, I'm a really big fan of uh, that Hail of Cold mm -hmm. mold that, that uh, happened earlier in the half. Right. Uh, just uh, the ball wasn't clear, and Caleb Cole got to be Johnny on the spot and make something happen and get CFC on the board early. And then uh, the, the second goal that that, uh, that happened, I believe it was uh, Felipe. Felipe. He did that one right under the goalkeeper. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and it, was, it was such a, a brilliant move. And he, he has a strong argument every time you watch him play, he might actually be the best guy on the field. Mm -hmm. um, on the field, still a good career that guy. And right. He, uh, he, that goal was so crafty, and it was funny because I think that he was, he was trying to make that same goal mm -hmm. a couple of times in the first half, and he just couldn't get it to stay inside and, and actually end up in the net. Mm -hmm. But uh, a, lot, a lot of great highlights. I thought a lot of great runs by CFC to give themselves those opportunities. Right. And I've seen the body is trying to, you know, the flying time to get Danny White to watch the dead one. Not on that way. And he's uh, a little frustration where he couldn't get to happen. That's all time, folks. But, uh, again, Chattanooga in possession most of the way through. And 2-1, your final score against the Bug Eaters. Hey, thanks for coming to the game, folks, who are here. If you're watching at home, we appreciate you very much.